Whether you like it or not, AI is a part of our lives today and it is here to stay, which is why even as a YouTube gaming content creator, you should learn to leverage this technology to the best of your ability to support your creative workflow by speeding it up making it more efficient, and even enhancing the quality of your content. That's why in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys five different AI tools to help you create high quality gaming videos in a fraction of the time. So starting off with tool number one, we have Google Gemini. If you're not familiar with this one already, this is a major player in the AI space as it is a large language model, works exactly like ChatGPT, but I like it a little bit more as it does have more current in real time information available within it. So to access this page here, all you need to do is go to google.gemini.com. Make sure you're signed into your Google account. And then all you need to do is go to where it says enter a prompt here. And this is where the magic begins. So let's say I play the game Call of Duty. I want Gemini to give me some ideas for some content that I can create around this game. Whether that be Warzone, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 6, or any future Call of Duty installment. So with that text entry, Gemini outputted the 10 video ideas that I requested and even broke them out into different categories. One being gameplay focused ideas, community focused, creative and unique ideas. And then within those sections, you can see the content that we can create. We can deep dive into any one of these points. Let's say for COD Warzone, if we can get a list of the guns that are being most sought after right now. So we can see as of September, 2024, these are the different weapons broken out by their respective category that are matching the current meta at the moment. Now we can also use Google Gemini to bring our own ideas to the table. I'm gonna ask it here, is it a good idea to create a review video on the Call of Duty Black Ops 6 beta? And its response is absolutely. It states that this is a great way to increase engagement on my channel. And it also lists out some different things that we can talk about within that review video from gameplay, the map, the mode. Let's just ask Gemini to build me a script for this video. And as you can see, it lists out the intro as well as all of the key point areas and things that I can talk about within those areas right within this script. Now guys, don't use this tool as a, let me just say exactly word for word that's listed here. Use this as your starting point. Take this and then add to it with your own thoughts and opinions to create your own custom made content. The next AI tool I have to show you guys is Gling. And I kid you not, this tool is absolutely spectacular. And here's why. After you do your talking head or voice commentary recordings, you can have this tool cut out your pauses and mistakes and it actually works. Is it perfect? Not quite, but it's really close. So in the example here, you can see that I started with a full length clip and this tool condensed what was originally an hour and 25 minute long video down to 17 minutes. Insane. On the left side, you will see a transcript that can be edited to cut or put back parts into the edited video. You can also play back and edit your video using the timeline within the tool, but even better yet, I can export this edit as an MP4 or to a file format supported by Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, or even my personal video editor, Final Cut Pro. Specifically, I love exporting this as a multicam file because when I load it up into Final Cut, I essentially have my base video edit complete and from here, I can make all of my other edits, add gameplay and more to finish it up. The next AI tool I have to show you guys is so the original AI app that I was gonna show you within this part of the video is actually shutting down. It's gone, splat. But luckily I found an alternative that works even better and it's called Nexus Clips. This tool was created to make it easy for transforming your live streams or long form gaming videos into short form content. You guys can access this tool by going to nexusclips.com and signing in with your Google account. From there, you'll be taken to the home page where you can select create clip and this is where you'll be able to add your YouTube and Twitch account. That way Nexus Clips can load in all of your long form content in live streams that you can then select 
to generate moments from. When you make your selection of what you want Nexus Clips to analyze, you can then ask AI what you want to look for in more detail. So you can type whatever moment that you want to be found within your stream out, or you can use some of the ideas that are above, such as key moments related to the gaming content, strong emotional reactions from the gameplay, and even interesting explanations about the game mechanics. Once you give AI its directions, go ahead and select generate new moments, and it'll take a few minutes in order for Nexus Clips to process all of those highlight moments to pull from. And once it's done, you'll be able to click into that video, and you're gonna see that Nexus Clips found several highlight moments within this particular live stream that I did that I can just click on, and it'll take me to that moment. Like this triple kill moment was absolutely insane. But one of the amazing strengths that Nexus Clips has is that it has this virality, virality, virality index, which is essentially this score for how well a segment of your video may perform when you upload it to Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube short. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the triple kill insane moment that I had in my stream. And we're just gonna go ahead and select create clip. And from here, we can actually adjust the starting and end points of this clip. So this short form clip is gonna come out to 7.4 seconds long, but you guys, if you want, can do it up to 90 seconds using this tool. I'm gonna to go ahead and select edit clip. That's gonna open up a separate tab. So that way Nexus Clips can identify the faces and also the gameplay portion. So I'm gonna start by positioning my gameplay where I like it to be. So I can just go to this middle section here and I can actually move this around to adjust it and see my changes here on the right. I'm good with the positioning of my gameplay and I can do the same thing for the face cam and I'm happy with how that looks as well. Now there are some additional elements that Nexus Clips adds in here. One of those here is a hook, and these are actually great to include in your short form videos because people scrolling by will be able to quickly see what is this short about before they waste 10, 20 seconds of their time. Below that, you have your sticker, but you know, I don't want that to take away from the triple kill, so I'm actually gonna delete this. One more thing here is if your subtitles didn't get generated, you can go to the subtitles section here, select your language, mine is English, select generate subtitles, give Nexus Clips a few seconds, and your subtitles will be generated out here as you can see. And what you guys can do to change the styling of those subtitles is just by selecting one of them, you guys can go up to styles, and this is where you can change what those subtitles look like. And you have some really clean, nice options here that do stand out and that do work well to make your content more viral. So definitely leverage these and pick the one that you like most. Now I can also make tweaks to the color and font of this particular subtitle style. All you need to do is go to the middle up here and this is where I can change those colors and also the font. There's a good amount of options to choose from. They even have one of my favorite font styles, Poppins. One thing I have to fix here though is the positioning of those subtitles. I don't like where it is right now. It's covering up the gameplay. So I can just go up in here, select it, and then just pull that down to there and that will apply to all of the subtitles within my video here. So at this point, I think our short form clip is finalized and good to go. All we need to do is go over to the right hand side, select the share option, and then we can download it directly to our computer. Or if we have our TikTok and YouTube accounts connected, we can push our content directly from Nexus Clips to those platforms right from this tool. If you guys would like to check this out, I put a link in the description below and you can start using the pro features for as low as $5 a month. The next AI tool I have to show you guys today is Midjourney. This is an art generator that can create images just based off of a text description input. To get started using this tool, you can head over to midjourney.com, go to the bottom right hand side and select the sign up button. The difference between signing in with Discord or Google is that if you use Discord, you're gonna be generating your images through the Discord channel that Midjourney has. If you use your Google account, on the other hand, you're gonna be using the web interface on Midjourney's website to create your images. Both work perfectly fine, it's just up to personal preference. For me, I decided to go the Discord route because I use Discord quite a bit because I have my own server, which you guys can join, by the way, link description below. But if you guys are brand new to using Midjourney, you will get a certain amount of free image generations that you can do. You can just go into one one of these newbie rooms right here. And all you'll need to do to create an image is do forward slash imagine. This is gonna be your text prompt. And then just type in what you're looking 
to see a beautiful sunrise. Gave it about 20 seconds and there we go. I have my images and they look beautiful. Now, how do we put this in the context of a gaming YouTube creator? Well, this is where we can make the base of our thumbnails. Since I'm a paid subscriber to Mid Journey, I jump to one of the general channels down here and we're gonna do the good old imagine prompt again. But this time we can put in a very detailed description of a thumbnail that we want to create. The more information that I give Mid Journey, the more accurate of the thumbnail it's going to return to me. The most important thing though here is that we want the aspect ratio to be in alignment with what YouTube accepts. So that's gonna be 16 by nine. So we wanna make sure that we do a dash dash AR space 16 nine. We press enter and we let mid journey do its thing and whoo, this is what we got out of it. These look absolutely beautiful. The use that you see down here is if I wanna upscale any of these images to a more full picture resolution versus just seeing all four in one image, which is what it is right now. The V's on the bottom, on the other hand, is if I wanna see different variations of the corresponding image, but in four different slight variations that are similar to that image. So as you just saw, I upscaled image number four out of that grouping. And one thing I like to do after I get my image is first take a look at it. You know, does it look good? Of course it looks good, it looks amazing, but I wanna do a subtle upscale of it. I don't really use many of the other features. Sure, they can be useful as well, but I found doing the subtle upscale can make the image a little bit more sharper and clearer looking. See, it helps a little bit. Yeah, it looks more smoothed out. That's what we want, baby. Now from there, I can just go ahead and save the image as, add it on to my files on my computer, and bring it into Photoshop, try to add more to it. Kind of like what I did in this final example here, put on my face over this thumbnail, as well as adding in the Black Ops 6 logo to make it a little bit more interesting than just what it was by itself. If you guys wanna get the full capabilities out of Mid Journey, it only costs you $10 a month. I've used it for my own thumbnails that I've done on this YouTube channel. So I'm not just telling you guys to use this tool just to use it and to spend money, but you can get legitimate use out of the tool to help you build nice quality thumbnails. As an honorable mention, there is a thumbnail generator tool called Pixels, which is nice to use, but it's pretty expensive. I did run a couple tests using the same prompts in both Mid Journey and Pixels, and here's a look at the differences between the two outputs in thumbnails. I still think I prefer the Mid Journey thumbnails, but you guys can check out both of these. I left links in the description below and let me know your thoughts. I have one more tool here to show to you guys to enhance your YouTube videos, and that's Adobe Podcast. So what you guys are gonna wanna do is head over to podcast.adobe.com, scroll down a little bit and go to the enhanced speech option. From here, make sure you log in with your Google account and you're gonna be presented with the cleanup audio for free with Adobe Podcast AI. So all we need to do is drop our audio recording in. This is perfect for if you have commentary overlay audio. I have a pretty shoddy microphone here and you guys are gonna see for yourself how well this tool works. Here it is with the regular audio with this microphone and now here it is turned on. How does it sound now compared to how it sounded before? Is it better? I'm sure it can't be worse. Let me know what you think. You get one hour a day daily limit to clean up your audio, but this works pretty freaking well. But there you guys have it. Thank you so much for staying to the very end of the video. If you came to enjoy it, make sure you hit it with a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.